Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you all how I am going to um, take off this set that I have on these. Um, I did these nails uh, for my birthday uh, this year and they've been on for over two weeks now and so they are all grown now, it's time to take them off. I'm going to show you all up close really quick what they look like. They are, there is a lot of new growth here as you all can see. Again, I've had them on for two weeks. Um, I'll try to insert a picture of what they look like when I first did them. Um, but yeah, the products that I used to do this set was this, um, this rubber base coat from Born Pretty. And it's in the color RBG02. I absolutely love this base coat, you guys. I actually went back and bought the whole entire line of their rubber base coat. So I'll be having a haul of that coming soon. But um, this stuff um, was really, really good for my nails, especially my natural nails. By the way, these are my natural nails, you guys. So as you can see, these are not full cover tips or um, half cover tips. These are my real nails all grown out and it has been a really long time since i've allowed my nails to grow out this long and so i'm excited to one have played around with my length again on my natural nails but then two it's time to clip them off because i've had some damage but let me quickly show you what else i use so for my tips i did use um the perfect yellow from madam glam it truly is the perfect yellow and then I also um, used Nail Addict. Oh, so after I did two coats of the rubber base coat, then I went in with my Nail Reserve Sea Swing and Sung. This is such a beautiful nude. And so that was how I was able to get this look. And then I also used some yellow rhinestones that I got from Amazon. I just featured those in my last Amazon nail supply haul. If y'all have not seen that haul, I will link it down in the description box below. There's some really good deals in there. But yeah, so this is how the nails held up. I did use my Beatles rhinestone glue. Overall, I think that the rhinestone glue, again, worked really well. Because as you all can see, um, when the rhinestones popped off, the silver backing is actually still on there. Meaning that the actual rhinestone itself separated from the backing. So it would have still been on had it not separated. These nails have been through a lot. These nails um, survived a birthday trip to Louisiana with my family, which was absolutely lovely. I'll try to insert a couple of pictures of what we did that day, of what we did on our trip. And then they also survived a girls night out um, in celebration of my birthday, as well as um, the new job that I told you guys about recently. So yeah, um, these nails have been through a lot along with the day-to-day -day life of, you know, just working working, cooking, cleaning, all that good stuff in between. So yeah, these have held up pretty good, but I want to give you all a closer look as to why I'm needing to take them off right now. So I don't know if you all can see right here, but my natural nail is cracking right here, right? And so because it's getting ready to crack, I'm nervous for it to um, like break straight across because if it breaks straight across, then it's going to break off part of my nail bed here. And then I actually had that same exact issue on my middle finger. I don't know if you all can see this this crack right here. It's like a really fine line right here. Um, if that had have broke off, it would have broke off clean across my nail. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up uh, putting Lisette's hard gel on top. It was in clear. And I left a little, I left a lump right here, right? I pretty much put an apex on um, that crack to try to give it um, more strength so that it wouldn't break off because I was really nervous about that happening. And then also the same thing is happening over here. I don't know if you all can quite see it. I actually have a crack in my nail bed right here, which is like halfway up. And that's another reason why I'm going ahead and taking these off because I really don't want it to break off. And then I also have another crack in my nails right here. So this is the first time I've let my nails get this long without clipping them. Typically I clip them at this length. I was just wanting to see how long I can get them to grow out. I know that if I wanted to, I could probably get them to grow even longer. But the issue that I'm running into, which is interesting now that I'm learning more about doing nails, is that because my nails do not have an apex on them, right, that is why they are starting to break off at the tip. So um, this experiment actually helped me better understand why apex why having an apex on your nails is so important because it will cause the nails to break off at the tip um, if it doesn't have enough um, structure to support the length of the nail. So yeah, so that's what I'm experiencing here with my natural nails. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove this set. I'm just going to take this set off and hopefully I'll have some time to also show you guys what I'm going to be doing for my new set. 
but um, I'm gonna stick with the theme of just wearing my natural nails these days and um, any other nail tutorials I do I think I'll just be using my silicone hand but without further ado let's get these nails off okay first I'm gonna go in with this really old um, I think this is a cuticle nipper but I'm just gonna use it to remove the rest of my rhinestones and so I'm just gonna take these off really quick So all of my rhinestones are off. Oh, and you guys, really quick too, I just wanted to say, like, do you all see that there's absolutely no lifting on any of my nails, like, at all whatsoever? So I absolutely love this um, uh, Born Pretty rubber base coat. I'm talking no lifting at all. Like, this stuff is really good. So yeah, anywho, I am going to go ahead now and clip down the length of my nails. Y'all, <laughs> this is the end of an era. I'm going to miss my my beautiful nails um but yes time to time to let them go time to let them go so i'm gonna clip them down pretty short actually i might even go with the shortest one yeah i'm gonna go with the shortest length here and i'm gonna just go ahead and clip them on off As you all can see, this was the product I had on my nails. That's the thickness of my nails here. So next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and buff off. I'm actually gonna use my, my e-file now and I'm just gonna file off this. I'm just gonna file this product down really thin on my nails. So my dust collector here. So I'm gonna go in with my nail drill at maybe 8,000 RPM. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, file all of this product off the nail. Okay, happy people so as you are filing down the product on the nails you want to make sure that you don't file away everything um so i just filed down essentially the color off of the rubber base coat that i had on there and i'm just filing it down till i hit the rubber base coat um, that way i uh, don't damage my natural nail um and yeah you just want to take your time going around the sidewalls going around the cuticles um until you're able to get all the product off of the nail this is no the nails are looking like after they've been filed I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna shape my natural nails. I think I'm gonna go in with this file. I don't even know what file this is, but it's from uh, Not Polish. Oh, it's the 100 Big Zebra file. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna straighten out um, my, my natural nail so that um, I have my shape. I'm not gonna taper the ends like I did last time. I'm just gonna to make it a straight square like so I think I need a 180 for this and the reason there's still yellow on this nail is because um, like I said this nail cracked right here and it would split across my whole entire nail bed. And so to avoid that happening, I kept the hard gel on there because I had to do that repair after I had finished my set. Um, this is just gonna be underneath whatever new set I have. Okay, happy people, so as you're um crispening the shape of your nail you want to just make sure you take your time and keep your file um, level so that um, you can get a really nice crisp square next I'm gonna go in with a file and even out the surface of the nail bed This is what all the nails look like after they've been shot, filed and shaped. I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave um, this rubber base coat on my nails since there's really no lifting at all on any of the nails. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep the nails and just do a feel on this rubber base coat. Um, so 
one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my cuticle stick and push back my cuticles. And I'm gonna demonstrate this just on one nail just so that I can finish prepping the rest of my nails off camera. So first I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna push back um, my cuticles with my cuticle stick and that's just to expose any skin and any protein that might be on the actual nail itself. I typically go through with the orange stick and I'll just like scrape, you know, any, any, um, protein that's on the nail that'll come up already. Okay. And so after I do that, then I will go in with my cuticle drill bit. Um, so normally I use this drill bit right here, like so. And I'll normally go, go at it with maybe like three or four RPM. And what I like to do is I like to get really close into the cuticle and just get um, any more of the, the dead cuticle and get any more of that up. And after I'm done with that, I'll go in with this drill bit here. I don't know the name of this drill bit, but it's kind of like a cone shaped one. And I'll use this just to rub off the surface of my nails and then get into the cuticle a little bit closer. The other thing I see is there's still shine where I put my rubber base coat on. So I'm just gonna go over it, my natural nail with the file just to get rid of that shine to make sure that whatever new product I add on top adheres to it properly. Like so, you just wanna blend that old product with um, the natural nail, like so. Okay. And this is how the nail is looking. So this is my nail prepped and ready to go for application. I am gonna go ahead and repeat that process on all the rest of the nails and I will be back. So this is what my nails are looking like. So I am gonna go in with my swipe from Young Nails and I'm gonna go ahead and de dehydrate all of my nails, remove any dust, any debris from the natural nail. From here, I like to kind of once over my nails one more time just to make sure there weren't any spots that I missed. And honestly, everything looks good. So this nail, I'm gonna be doing slightly different um, than the rest of the nails because I do have a, a breakage here. So when I showed you guys earlier, that this nail is breaking right here at the tip. So if it ends up breaking straight across, it's gonna cut and break off my nail bed. So I am gonna go ahead and fill that in with um, some hard gel. I'm gonna be using Lissette's Crystal Clear to just kind of keep this nail intact. Um, that's the same, this is that's, this is the same product I used on this middle finger to keep the nail intact and it's still holding on strong. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it on here too because it worked out really well for me. And so, um, let's see. So before I even uh, use the hard gel, I'm gonna go in with my Young Nails Protein Bond and that's gonna make sure that all the new product that I adhere on top of the nail stays put. So I'm gonna apply that, making sure to get it on to my nail bed and then I am gonna also put it on the entire nail. Don't know if that's necessary, but um, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go in with two coats of this. Now I'm gonna go in with Lissette's number four brush. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. So again, I'm gonna use um, the crystal clear and apply it to the entire nail, really making sure to focus product here because that's where my issue area is, or my weak point is. So I'm gonna go in with my slip layer first. And I'm gonna start back here towards the base of the nail. Get some product back there and then just slide it on down. All 
Okay, from there, I'm just gonna build up the nail ever so slightly, like the thinnest layer of hard gel. I'm not even gonna put much on it. Um, but this is really just to give my nail some strength. And again, I'm gonna be focusing a lot of the product here on that stress area, just to ensure that there's enough strength there to keep the nail intact. And overall, that's good to me. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the side walls a little bit. sure product is on here nice and good if this looks perfect I'm gonna go ahead and cure so this is what the nail is looking like after it's come out the lamp you guys uh, don't mind all the wrinkles of the nail I just was touching it to make sure it fully cured and it did I was testing out a new lamp um, but uh, yeah that's what those little sponges are but yeah I'm gonna go in now with my rubber base coat and do two layers of that before I go in with my color of choice so I'm gonna be using the other um, rubber base coat that I got from born pretty which is absolutely beautiful and it is this really pretty um, kind of a little bit of a deeper pink than the first one I used. just for comparison this was this was the one I used um, the first time around this is the one I'm gonna be using now so yeah I'm just gonna go in with two layers of that two really thin layers of that. Looks good to me, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. So this is what the nail looks like after the one layer of the Lissette Gel Nails Crystal Clear and then two layers of the rubber base coat from Born Pretty. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I would actually prep, well how, how I would actually do the feel on my nail if there was no um, nails that were damaged or cracking. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use swipe one more time on the nails. Again, I like to do that to remove any dust and debris. Because I've been moving around, I just want to make sure there's no oils on my natural nail. From there, I'm going to go in with two layers of protein bond on all of the nails. Now that my protein bond has been applied, now I'm going to go in with my rubber base coat again. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer to all of the nails. When I'm applying the rubber base coat, I like to kind of dab a little bit in the middle and then use my brush to kind of push the product back towards my cuticle. And that is how I make sure that I don't touch my cuticle and side walls. I'm kind of maneuvering the product with the brush just to make sure it doesn't actually touch. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with two thin layers of this on all the nails and I will be right back. Okay, happy people. So I wanted to give you all the quick update on what's been going on with me. I know I haven't been posting nowhere near as much as I used to, but it is due in part to this new job that I have recently taken on. It has taken up all of my time, energy, and effort, you guys, but I am still trying to upload as frequently as possible, as well as continue to bring you all those deals from Amazon. Um, thank you to those who are still um, watching my content and commenting, and I just want to say, y'all, my happy family, it's growing. We just reached 5,000 subscribers, you guys. Woo, 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 woo. I am in awe, I am grateful, and I'm thankful, so I appreciate you all sticking around, being a part of my happy family, and yeah, I'm just excited to see us continue to grow. I am planning on hosting a giveaway, a 5k giveaway very, very soon. 
I'm not exactly sure when because like I said my schedule is kind of hectic but it will be um, hopefully in the next weeks to come so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that I'm so excited and thank you all so much again for helping me reach this new milestone this looks good I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds and do a second coat off camera this is what the nails are looking like after two layers of my rubber base coat now I'm gonna go in with my color of choice I'm actually gonna be doing some green chrome nails I did this on a practice nail and it turned out so pretty and so I'm gonna use the big apple from Madame Glam as my base color now I do need to do a little bit bit of filing and shaping on these two nails I'm gonna do that off camera just to save a little bit of time but because these two nails are pretty much the shape that I want I am gonna go ahead and show you all the design on these two nails and then do the rest off camera but the only reason I have to go in with additional filing and shaping on these is because I showed you guys in the beginning that split that I had that could potentially cause my nail to rip off my nail bed um, so I had to put some extra product on there just to keep the nail my, my natural nail down so that's the reason I'm just gonna do it off camera because I don't I don't really feel like <laughs> filing and shaping right now um, so I'm gonna go in with two layers of the big apple you guys this green is absolutely beautiful look at that oh. <laughs> so pretty so I'm gonna do two layers of this and then I'll show you all the chrome that I'm gonna do Alrighty, so I'm gonna cure for 60. This is what the nails are looking like after two layers of the Big Apple. Next, to chrome the nail out, you'll go in with any no wipe top coat of your choice. Um, so I'm just gonna be using this random one that I have from Castany. And uh, you'll just apply a thin layer of top coat to the entire nail. what the nails look like after top coat has been applied now I'm gonna go in with this really beautiful chrome powder I did get this from Amazon I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below but you all see how it has that green shift to it it's gonna look so cute over the big apple so I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply this to my entire nail now you guys when it comes to chroming your nails out it's actually pretty simple um, the first time I did it I thought it was gonna be difficult but it wasn't so what you want to do is you'll want to tap into the powder ever so lightly you don't don't need a lot this is all the product that I picked up on the brush it's not a lot at all and then what you'll want to do now is over the shiny top coat you will want to just kind of dab the chrome powder onto the nail first and then after you're done dabbing you will want to go ahead and start rubbing it into the nail and that's going to create a really beautiful chrome effect oh my gosh this is so beautiful I love it love it and so you see the chrome effect that it creates that is so gorgeous to me oh my gosh and so you see the difference between the one with and without yep so I'm gonna go ahead and do it to my pinky nail as well again you just want to tap into it really you could just tap into it once honestly I think that's more than enough and then first you'll want to dab it onto the entire nail right and then after you're done dabbing it on then you rub it in and you see how when I do that it creates that chrome effect so as you're rubbing the powder in it does the chrome effect look at the absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful I love it and you just want to keep rubbing until you get the effect that you want I think I got the effect that I want and what I like to do too is the other side of the sponge I like to use that to kind of remove any excess powder that might still be on the nail so that when I go in with my top coat it doesn't contaminate it so that's just what I'm doing here and then for another safe measure to make sure my top coat isn't contaminated I'll go through with a fluffy brush and just kind of make sure um, all the excess powder is off the nail again like so and then from there you go in with a top coat I kind of want to test this top coat out to see if it's any good so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Cassidy top coat on all my nails and I'll be keeping these on for a couple of weeks so this would be a good opportunity for me to test this top coat and see how well it wears but yeah 
You'll want to make sure you go in and seal the entire nail with top coat. Because if you miss a spot, it could cause lifting on the chrome. So this is what it is looking like with top coat. I am going to go ahead and um, do the rest of this hand off camera as well as do this entire hand off camera as well. And I'll be back with the finished look, okay? Alrighty, so my nails are all done you guys. I am absolutely loving how the finished result turned out. So I am going to go ahead and apply some cuticle oil and we'll get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys, ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how these nails turned out. I am obsessed with this green from Madame Glam. It's called the Big Apple, and I love that chrome effect. It just gives a nice, it really just elevates the nail set. It's such a simple design, but super duper cute. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know if you all have tried out chrome nails in the past, because I absolutely love them. And also if you all have tried out that uh, Born Pretty Rubber Base Coat, because that stuff is amazing. I'm going to leave links to all the products I used down in the description box below and I do have a discount code with Born Pretty too so I'll leave that on the screen as well in case you guys want to get your hands on some of these base coats but I do highly recommend them you all saw my new growth at the beginning and I know these nails are going to last just as long this is actually a few days later so they're holding up well already okay happy people so I wanted to come back with an update about how my nails are holding up it's exactly five weeks later so well over a month that I have had this chrome nail set on and I must say I'm very happy and very pleased with how it's been holding up. So I'm going to give you all a close up here. As you can see, I have a lot of new growth on all of my nails. This is how much they have grown now. These are my natural nails, by the way. Um, there's a little bit of chipping, well not chipping, but peeling of the uh, top coat that was holding in the chrome design. And I only had that problem on my thumbnails, so as you all can see, and, I, and it was really partly because of me. I saw it lifting a little bit and then I just started peeling away at it, peeling away at it. And so that took off some of the chrome finish on my thumbnail, um, but all the rest of them held up really nicely. There was slight chipping over here with the chrome finish as well, but on all the rest of the nails, it was sealed in properly and held up great. Again, on this side here, new growth, new growth, new growth. It's just, yeah. I'm very, very satisfied um, with those Born Pretty products. So I've gotten tons and tons of compliments um, on my nails. And so, yeah. Um, so I do have discount codes for both um, of these brands and both of these products. So um, I am going to leave them here on the screen as well as in the description box below. Um, these are like some of my new staples. So yeah, well, I've, already, I've always loved Madame Glam polishes, but this Born Pretty rubber base coat is my new staple. Anytime I'm going to be wearing my natural nails, I will be using that product. And as you all can see, my nails have grown out pretty long. So yeah, loving it, loving it, loving it. These products definitely can stand the test of time. I have not been easy on my nails and holding up great. I hope you all enjoyed this update. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw, here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope y'all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye